what is beyond the honeymoon phase because you know you 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 fall in love you give yourself to someone you're out there feeling the feelings and they're feeling your feelings as well and you're all just feeling nice because you know love is love and you love each other that's usually honeymoon phase mm -hmm. they do no wrong by you according to you they're the most perfect that perfection can ever be but what happens once you have now left that phase of being in a honeymoon situation? You start noticing their receding hairline. You start you to start notice. notice he pushes toothpaste from the middle. Yes. That he coughs too loudly and you don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> that he breathes and you don't like the way he breathes. You're like, you really should stop breathing, you know? <laughs> that the way he moves his shoes and leaves one sock here, the other one in the kitchen, mm -hmm. one shoe in the balcony, the other one somewhere else, and then the next day he's asking you about those shoes. You're like... <laughs> You realize that this girl is one of those people like myself who any space is storage space. Mm -hmm. So I will put my makeup everywhere. If you come to the bathroom, makeup. If you come to the, you know, to the to the closets, makeup. If you come to any table, makeup. My eyelashes are on the everything on the couch, on the dining table, on the kitchen counter. That is who I am. So you're like, I is this really what <laughs> what I am wanting in my life? And so, mm -hmm. what do you do when you're in that situation? Mm -hmm. Or how do you deal with this particular thing? Because there's no certain way of dealing with a relationship, you know? Every relationship is unique. Yes, there are, all, there are similarities in every relationship, but there are also some unique features or aspects about different relationships based on the different people. And it's important for you and your newfound bae to figure out what do we do on this page. Mm -hmm. So, thing number one that you have to do once you have hit... Uh, the Past day after honeymoon phase yes uh -huh. you have to understand one thing boundaries and respect mm -hmm. are paramount you have to talk about these things if it if it's like you know one of those things like the 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 the, the, the nursery rhymes that we used to have mm -hmm. a for apple b for boy those ones these boundaries should be as mnemonic as possible like so that you're not feeling as if this person doesn't respect you and doesn't doesn't see what you've spoken about like i told you yesterday i don't like it when you're pressing toothpaste from the middle exactly what are we doing like just take the toothpaste and mm. what are yeah. we doing yeah so some of these <laughs> <laughs> some of these things you need to talk about some of these boundaries you need to have a conversation about for example mm -hmm. it was cute when you were busy you know, when you tell me, when I tell you come over and you're like, oh my God, I'm busy, I'm busy today. Like, let's, let's link up tomorrow mm -hmm. or next week. Now we're in a relationship. If I want to see you every weekend, we need to have that conversation about, babe, I get that you have friends. I get that you have family. I get that you have plans, mm -hmm. but I want to see you every weekend. So can we make at least one day out such that we're seeing each other every weekend? It doesn't yeah. have to be the whole weekend. It can be one day out of the weekend. Mm -hmm. Some of these things and respect, especially. I don't like it the way you speak to me in public, for example. You know, it could be one of those guys who have bad manners. I know you. Mm -hmm. Who like to do funny things, like you are in the mall, and then you are tempted to touch, and you're over there squeezing someone's bottom. Oh. Let's have these conversations, because <laughs> that is a respect thing for you. Some yeah. people are okay with it, because it's cute. Some people are like, Aki, what, what, se maje. Mm. And then you make them uncomfortable, and you ruin the whole date. Something that was really cute and funny mm. has now become the subject of an argument. So yeah. let's, let's talk about these issues. Let's talk about where you draw the lines, and, and how you choose to be respected, or what is respect, and what is disrespect to you and the other person, and then find common ground. Yeah, and on your significant other needing private time to like explore their individuality. This was a problem for me. Girl, me too. <laughs> this was a problem, because I didn't understand. What do you mean? What else time? do you need? You know, you have me. Our relationship is thriving. You what know? do you mean you need? We're together. Huh? What do you need? Actually, you need to stay in the car and just decompress. decompress you know, what? I heard you come in, you know. What, what are you doing sitting in the car pa parking lot for one hour? Mm. It, it just took me a while to like understand people need like time on their own, you know? People need time to like see other friends beyond your relationship. This person needs to like have hobbies that don't include you. Otherwise, if you guys are doing everything together, it's going to become so monotonous, you know? You're everywhere together. You, maybe you go to work together, yeah. so you're at home together. You don't even miss each other. You know, it's mm -hmm. that bad. Mm -hmm. So you need to like give them space. Give your partner space. 
take it from me. Mm. I didn't know. Me was like, uh uh, we're together. I used to feel so Til vexed. The, exactly. I'm like, I'm then, so lonely. You're my only huh? friend. <laughs> Today you are you're travelling for for what? For, what for about how long? <laughs> can I can I come with you? <laughs> Let's go together. <laughs> And it's very problematic. I think, oh, I'm just going downstairs really quickly. I'm coming. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> to the shop? Am I, am I you coming? You become like a toddler. You're it's not just toddler me. behavior. It's like, it, is, it is such attachment issues that it is problematic. Mm -hmm. But after a while, and, and another thing is also let yourself <clears throat> I feel it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, let, let them go one day. You'll feel bad, and then you'll feel bad another time. And then after yeah. a while, you're like, oh, actually, this is, this is okay. Because you felt bad two times, three times, and then you realize... You that also need to pursue things I that... I could have done such and such. Exactly. So you start exploring that aspect. Now sometimes you're just like, ah, hey, you're not going. <laughs> you just go <laughs> so for just a day. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so that these are some of the conversations that we need to have. Yeah. Uh, what's another one? Another thing is constant communication. And I'm not talking about nagging. Mm -mm. I'm actually talking about we are both in a relationship. There's no way you're going to go MIA the whole day and not tell me anything. Mm -mm. I am your girlfriend. I intend to be your wife. You cannot like go silent on me from 8 a.m. and then hit me up at 7 p.m. You're like, hi, how was your day? Mm. Sir, I need to know what happened. You know, you can like tell me, hi, I'm going to have a busy day today. I'm not, I'm not, I won't be able to like talk to you, you know? Is here to you screen my calls? What uh -huh. is that? We are Do not disturb. Exactly. My friend, I am can a you disturber. Imagine you're calling um, your man and then he like cutters your phone. <laughs> why? For why? My chance. Am I a stepchild? I, you you feel so dejected. Exactly. <laughs> what is with the stepchild treatment? And it's not nagging. I actually, I'm just genuinely concerned, and I'd feel it's very respectful yeah. actually to like tell a person, "I'm going somewhere," yeah. so that you're not worried. You and know, also you can I'll be home plans. late. Yeah. I won't, uh, you know, I won't be able to make dinner. Mm -hmm. I'll be home late. You can just go to sleep. Even you're up at 12 a.m. waiting for this man to come home simply because he did not have sense to like call you and say, I'm going to have a few drinks with my boys, mm -hmm. you know, and then I'll come home. Here you are in your nightgown, sitting in the dark. You know, it's also very creepy, very creepy behavior. Just sitting in the dark, <laughs> waiting for this person to come I home. I am bad woman. And I wash a steamer and I rook in Jaquanza. <laughs> Simply because they did not communicate that, you know, oh I'm going to grab a few drinks oh and then God. I'm going to come home, yeah. you know, you're and just screening her calls. And, and this is another major one, especially when you get into long term relationships and even marriages. I've seen this, mm -hmm. that you'll actually go and check when the last time you messaged your boyfriend <laughs> was <laughs> or your husband. Uh -huh. And it's like three months ago. You're like. Bro, Whoa. do we not text each other anymore? So some of these things happen a lot in marriages and, and especially in long-term relationships and even worse when you live with someone mm. because you're constantly seeing them so you never really feel the need. If you want to tell them anything, they're mm. there. You will tell them. If you want to, you know, you will. they're there. They're exactly. always consistently there. But like funny things, you know, just, you know, c grab a screenshot of something. If you're into politics, grab a screenshot of what mm. <laughs> Bahati and Rayla are doing on, on, on YouTube together <laughs> and send it to your boyfriend or your, your, your girlfriend. Yeah, and, see and you're this. like, eh, have you seen this new song? You know, grab a screenshot of what is happening in Ukraine and, and, and send them a message and mm. then have that communication. And if they're into memes, grab some memes and send them. I mean, DM them, do whatever. Yeah. Just have constant communication because that also breaks that stiffness of, you know, sometimes you haven't spoken to someone the whole day and then they come and you're like, where do we start? Exactly. So you're like, ah, do I? Mm, maybe not. Okay. Oh, maybe not. And then they're giving you attitude because they had a bad day at work. So you just really don't know where to start. And then everyone is just quiet and angry exactly. and moody the next day. You're all angry at each other simply because you didn't. And what's my you didn't love have language? A conversation. Constant affirmation. Mm. So it, it, it's just in line with communication. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't talk to me the whole day, I'll be feeling some type of way by the time you come true, home. True, exactly. True. 